Welcome back to the walkthrough, everybody. This one we're going to be going through Tailu's Ruined Forge. We ended here at the end of the last episode. The main prize being the Tailu Golem Smith. There's actually a an enemy in the game I want to test this against, so kind of interested to see what this is like when it's fully upgraded. There are some other strong weapons in here as well, so I guess before we set off, just in case you've come to this video wanting to know how to get here, um, what you'll want to do is make your way past the Castle Ensis. As you can see, there's the High Road Grace just outside. Follow that up. Take this right hand or eastern road till you reach the Morth Ruins. From there, you want to go northeast to the pool here. This is going to lead you into like a cave, and you're going to come through, and that's going to bring you out where you see all the swamp area, where you can now head to the west and to the ancient ruins base, and then on north to the Talu's Ruined Forge. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the area then. Some lovely pieces of loot around as we uh, rest through the game. I don't think there's any upgrade stones in this little pit here. It doesn't really seem to do very much for us other than we can we can fall into that pit and then climb back out of it. So not really too much to say there. We don't need to use the ladder to come down. You can see it doesn't really hurt us. A bit quicker to take a roll. Not that that's majorly important. Jump over the gap. I'm going to take a left. It's going to be where the first smithstone weapon in here is. It's Guardian. Get in there. Um, the update has gone live. And to say things don't feel easier would be a lie. Like, you saw we didn't even get a stun there for ages. Look at all the damage. Like, I know these guys were obnoxious, but... And even the damage we received, everything seems to have, uh, to have eased off. I don't know if it's just me, but not only do we seem to be gaining vastly more runes. There's a Smith script act, by the way. Vastly more runes today. Um, I noticed some of the enemies are now like, giving 4 or 5k, whereas pretty much everything was only given 2k while I was streaming. I'm sorry it was. Um, so I don't know if this is updated like during the evening or something while I was sleeping, but whatever. Um, so yeah, if, if things are looking a bit different, <laughs> like if you're gaining way more runes than me as you're going through, like spend them wherever you want. That's uh, well, kind of golden actually from the perspective of the walkthrough because it means you guys be higher level than me, which is nice. Um, so we want to jump across to the side here. And we are going to go straight across, actually, because this is actually side content. This is where the um, Great Hammer is. So I imagine that's two weapons there that are fair, in fair enough amount of people are going to look for, because both of them are pretty cool for different respective builds. My, uh, my Strength Faith character now is starting to uh, come into its own with the amount of faith it's got, so... I'll be able to test more stuff very soon. Bit of a nasty encounter down here, especially if you want to clear every enemy now, like I like to. The best method I've found is to come under here. We're going to get a load of slimes, but we're not really too worried about that. You take this down as quickly as you can. And then what you want to try and do is wait until one of the big guys comes down. Excuse me, one should come down. Just one. I just want one down here. Come on, could we please have one of you? Both here as well. It's rather annoying. You can skip them, but I wanted to show a method for taking them both on. Which is going to be thwarted because they've gone and got themselves stuck and they can fire through each other, so that's like way worse than it was supposed to be. All right, I guess I'm going to... Hey, there we go. One fell down. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so now we should be able to take one out up here. He can jump up, so just be careful. But the idea is to have one on its own. Now I'm really mistiming this. Oh, 
seems to have reduced how much damage they take before they sta stagger as well, which is nice. That's a really bad place for you to be. That's a bit better. And we can stagger them from any side now. They've really softened these up a bit. That may be uh, troublesome for what I wanted to test. Because these were really tough from the front before. And there's a boss that I wanted to test with them. But, uh, so yes, yeah, so now if you want to take the second one down. He's down here on his own. You even de aggroed did you? Can't tell if they've reduced their hitbox. These guys seem to really have been... Uh, Adjusted a little bit. These were disgusting before. Even with some mistakes, these haven't been as bad. So, probably a little bit longer than people would have liked, but like I say, that's that. if you want to take those two on, you can do. There's no massive, like, huge benefit for doing it, but it's just, uh, it's just a completion thing. Just check in. Make sure you just check around for, like, your weird stones, because sometimes, sometimes they miss your eye, and there are loads of them around. This way we should get the um, Ancient Dragon Stone. Don't worry about that. We'll be there in a minute. Jump across. Up to the top. And then across here. It's gonna allow us to get to that piece of loot we just saw on the uh, on the ledge. Now's a good time to do it because we're gonna change the angle of the bridge in the middle. Really shortly. So from down here, grab some more loot, it's all good. Next room can be a little bit tough, so if you took a lot of damage at the previous fight. Because you uh, fought them off like I did. Uh, this next room can be a little bit tough. Again, no real need to go around and annihilating everything, but it's just how I like like to have things done. So we're going to run in, and you want to keep running until you get to here. If you take too long, this guy's going to aggro, and then you're going to be facing t not only two, but this guy can um, generate the yellow slimes. It can be a bit nasty to fight, as you can see, because it's leaving fire everywhere. So you really want to be fighting these two at the same time. Got the shield. Whoops. I didn't realize that was on the on the, uh, on the ceiling there. As you can see, things can get a bit nasty. Things get a bit rough if you're not careful. And then we have second mid Bobby around here. Obviously, my strength build really uh, had way more fun than this. Going around here, I'm going to take a death here. It's fine. I'll clear this out and then we can continue the dungeon. Alright then. Boyos down. I want to head down there. Uh, well, I'm going to actually I'm going to head from the other way because that's a little bit more continuous, just in my mind. So we're going to jump over this way. Which of course means you could skip all of that, but let's get it all done. Yeah, 
take magic damage. Good. Alright, let's get that bit there. And for the ladder. That's right. It's a bit dark here, isn't it? Uh, there's gonna be another one of the big guys behind us. Not as bad there, because he's not like joined by loads of friends. But we do need to quickly get rid of these slimes, because otherwise they're gonna start firing at us, and that's an annoyance. We're gonna choose to gavel up Heimer, because I've noticed if we can get the hammer to hit the red button, it is pretty effective actually. There's a little nice to deal with you. Hopefully just for speed's sake we can make the jump back across. Can we get the loot there? Yeah, we'll have a loot there. It's all good. Should have a switch. I guess if you're fast enough, maybe you could jump onto that. But let's assume people aren't rushing all the time. Just walk off. Should recognize where we are. This is where we've got the Great Hammer. So the initial place where you obviously start the dungeon, pretty much. As you're heading in. So of course now we're heading up. And we'll treat that as the way out, I think. Yeah, there's no loot there. Pretty sure that's the way out. The uh, the loot that we want is over this way. This is going to give us a Spirit Ash of the Blacksmith guys. Now, if they have been weakened, this is going to be less exciting than I was expecting it to be. Um, see, so yeah, I don't think... Yeah, like, whenever you see one of those, that means it's the uh, the way in. So, yeah, we are done with the dungeon, which is useful. Got a bit more loot to get before we finish the video out, though. Those that have been following along, I want to get everything. Let's get that done. So from where we are, we want to head to the west. I wish when it teleported you out, it kind of pre-rested you. It's one of the kind of small annoyances that we've got to head back in. I guess we might as well like fast travel to it or something. So it's nice and fresh for the, the encounters to come. A few tough enemies on the way. So be careful. As we're coming out. We don't really want to head south, we want to head west. So, once away from some enemies. We're going to actually head towards the pool. It's not actually too much there. There's a rune arc, which obviously is important. But, um, it's just a good, a good waypoint for us on the way over. I can't remember all this. I can't remember if there's some of the, uh, the death birds around here. We're not really going to mess with those. We've got tons of ogres, though. Guard there. And I think I'm going to choose high magic damage for this. Uh, I need to get the small grieve one. The small grieve and talisman on the game. For now, go with that. Just uh, try not to take to take any damage. <laughs> We're going to do this. No hit. Honest never going to happen, but this will allow us to uh, clear these out in a nice, easy manner. Sometimes the situation just calls for it.
Oh, sorry, I was fighting there, I couldn't turn the mic off. Usually I can touch the mic when my hay is playing up, but not today. I get big sneezes. All right, so over this way, we're going to find ogres and soldiers fighting. Realistically speaking, you want to target the ogres over the soldiers because they're going to give you more trouble. So if we can get in some ogres down without attracting too much attention from the soldiers. That's what's going to work best here. The biggest issue, there's one in there that's notably bigger. And that's the one that we don't really want to have to fight head on if we can help it. Soldiers didn't even manage to damage it. Alright, so if ever there was a normal enemy we wanted to use a Physicon, it's now. This one is like noticeably tougher. But we've, we've solved that issue. Good Fiend's arm. The strength users among you. Go ahead and we'll finish these soldiers off. Sorry, no one gets left behind. And then we want to head to the south. We have another piece of loot down here that we want to grab whilst we're here. Let's just pick up the, the lootables. You can see the chest, it's right in front of us almost like it was designed for us to come this way. Pearl shield talisman. Mm. Might be useful for us later when we're facing off against elemental style bosses, eh? Alright, so with that done... We missed one tiny piece of loot over here. It's not incredibly important, but I would like to go and grab it whilst we're in this video. How much time are we on? We are on 18 minutes, so we have plenty of time to do it. It's not going to take us long. So make sure we're all rested up. I don't want any bad accidents as we go. Heading east. Back through the cave. I guess we need some night commenting. We can have the Staff of Loss on. Last our way through. Don't get too chased by anything because we have to, like, so sort of interact with an NPC. So ideally, we won't be getting chased as we move over. Very thick with them. There's still cheap kills there, apparently. Right, I think we're clear enough. I don't know how fragile they are, so just, you know, be mega cautious. Go ahead and grab you. Pearlescent scale and the Forager book 5. Which clears that out nicely for us. I suppose we need to beat these now, just fast travel away, but they just look a lot like little free room baskets to me. I 
when, when there's just 10k standing there for the taking, you just I don't know why you wouldn't take it. Anywho, so we are now done, which is the good news, with all of this kind of low land here in between this green. This green stuff's a little bit later on, so that's fine. Um, but basically, for now, until we're done with the, the Shadow Fort, we are done in the north, which is which is where I wanted to be. Next up, I think we're going to do this piece. Next, the kind of upper area. There's a, there's a gap here. This is going to give us a whole extra thing. So that, that can wait, I think. So we're going to do this forge in the next episode. So I would like us to move over that way. We could do dry leaf right now, but I'd rather do them at the end of another episode where we've got a bit of time left. So let's just move over to, to the forge over there. Again, just Rune is just, just, just wandering right to me. Not helping him, just everywhere. Every time I pass through an area, it's like, oh, more, more runes. You want it? You want me to have more runes? More runes? Um, there are a ton of demi humans over here, which are now giving us like three k each. So it's like, my gosh. Like, like, do, do I really have to level this much? <laughs> the game says yes. Right, so we can summon because of the dragon right here. So don't think it'll come all the way to the next forge with us. We're just gonna make our way over. And then probably after the next forge, we'll probably do dry leaf and another rune bear. Second one that we need to do is like a boss. I realize you were a bigger one. Otherwise, I'll have pumped some extra into here, can you? Oh man, headbutting me. Um, so, oop. I must miss that bit of loot. I think that's a dash of war. Pretty sure it's um, like a spear thing. Oop. There you go, piercing through. Another one over here. Okay. There you are. It's gonna flee! Right, I'm gonna clear out this end as well. Take a right. This is going to lead us to a thing that we saw whilst we were in Ensis Castle. But NPC down here is going to give, the, give us another cookbook. Just a little bit of loot. We still haven't done Fog... Um, fog of Four either. <laughs> That's going to have to be after we've done this main area because uh, it'll be driving people nuts. Won't it? That's the outside of here done. I think just so that we've cleared all the different packs of enemies once. We're going to do this hill. Got some people having a party. I want to join it. Why don't you invite me, huh? Why don't you invite me? I'm all bitter now. That's cheap. Oh, ouch. I thought it was cheap. I think it's crazy how they managed to get so much to happen. Such distance while we're just kind of like in the distance doing something else. So, so good. Like they've really mastered their engine. Like we've got to look forward to whatever it is they pull off next. Let's go do you. Why not? Shard Spiral of Doom. I can't remember if this one has a friend hiding. This. I think it is. I'm gonna wrap. I'm sure, there's one that comes out the ground here. No, maybe it's different. There's definitely one that looks like it's all resting. You know, like you go over to it to like try and nick some loot and run off, and then its friend comes out of the puddle. That does that. We have gone around pretty much everything. Let's just check. 
check up on the ledge. Before we close out. The episodes end up a little longer than I would have liked. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so let's head in. Head into the forge. So that then sorts a lot out for us. See so yeah, that'll mean basically the open stuff here will be done. Forge will get done next. And then we'll probably head south. We'll do the dragon. Get um, ready for ready for the fort. Do the fort. And we'll probably do fog fort after that. Was that three, four episodes all planned out in my head? If I don't keep changing my mind. People have complained that I'm um, indecisive sometimes about which way I want to go. But sometimes, you know, I have a plan of what I want to do and then I get part of the way through the video and it feels like it's better to do something else. It's fine. We're going to get everything. No worries. Um, I do need to do something naughty. We are going to want a better shield eventually. Uh, in particular, we have the serpent shield, which is good fire damage. And the... Wolf Crest Shield, which is good magic damage. Both of those are important for different reasons. Probably going to want a lightning one as well. It's interesting the uh, game actively gives you as we're going through. But that closes us out. Hope you're still enjoying the series, and I'll catch you all again very soon.